Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my March BoxyCharm unboxing. So if you guys are interested in finding out with me what's in my box for this month, then just keep on watching. So if you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, it's a $21 monthly subscription box where you get all full-size beauty products. And if you guys are interested in signing up with BoxyCharm, I do have an affiliate link. I will leave it in my description box. And that way you guys can sign up to start getting BoxyCharm boxes. There is one thing in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys first because this is the one thing that I saw as a spoiler for this month because BoxyCharm just took a bunch of influencers on a trip. And this is what they were promoting. It's a collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. I'm so excited for this palette because I saw it like all over the internet for the past week. But I always try to avoid BoxyCharm spoilers because I love to be surprised and I always try to film my BoxyCharm unboxings like the day I get them. So I'm like super impatient when I get them. All right, so I finally got this open and this is a palette, an eyeshadow palette. I really like the shades in here. I especially love the blue shade in here. That's definitely what stood out to me a lot for like a lid color, lower lash line. I love colors like that. I wanna swatch it. Oh, I hate swatching palettes. Like for the first time, I feel like I just like ruined the palette, but that is a really gorgeous swatch. And then I'm gonna pull like a gold shade, okay. These are swatching so nicely. Okay, that one didn't swatch as nicely. This top shade right here. Okay, it looks a little good, but it's not as pigmented as these two. So I just swatched this blue shade up here, and then this copper shade is gorgeous. And then the shade next to it is a little chunkier, but we can make it work. But this one definitely feels like super creamy. Those are super pretty. That is a palette I'm definitely going to be using. And I always do a BoxyCharm tutorial on my Instagram, so you guys will see that in the next week or so. So that lightest shade actually just like dusted away that top shade, but that copper is stunning. The blue is actually pigmented, which is really promising because sometimes you get like one pop of color in a palette and it ends up not being very pigmented. But I'm definitely super excited for this palette. I love all the shades in here. Hopefully the rest of them swatch pretty nicely. At least this copper shade and the blue are promising. I'm definitely gonna do a BoxyCharm tutorial. I do it every month on my Instagram if you guys wanna see a tutorial using this palette. So that will be up on my Instagram in the next, um, probably in the next week. And I'm not seeing like anything in my box that tells me the prices. I don't think I lost it, so we'll see if I can find that in here. But next, moving into a blush. I'm not gonna like this blush. So this is from the brand Pretty Vulgar, which is available at Sephora, and this color is intense. This is, ooh, it even looks even more intense once I opened up the packaging, but that is a super bright blush. Um, I don't even want to swatch it because I know I'm not even going to use it. I don't know if I'll use it for that tutorial because I don't think that will look good on me. And I'll probably end up donating that blush pretty soon anyways. And it could probably work for a different um, complexion than mine, but I think it'll be way too bright on me. And then next I have something from Butter London, maybe a mascara. Yeah, a lengthening mascara. I actually really like getting mascaras because mascaras aren't like fun to purchase, like when I'm spending like $20 on mascara, I'm like, oh, I wish I just spent that on like a lipstick or a highlighter or anything else that is a little bit more exciting than a mascara. So this is the Oh My How High, oh, that's cute, mascara. I haven't actually tried any makeup from Butter London, I don't think. Okay, this wand is, I like it. I feel like I'm gonna like it because it's curved. I feel like this is kind of similar to um, my favorite Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome. Like, how the bristles all look. So I think I might actually like that just by looking at the wand because sometimes I could tell right away. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about it when I post my Instagram tutorial. And then next I have, this is a set of eyeshadow brushes from Vintage Cosmetics. And I think I've gotten vintage products in an Ipsy before. All right, so here are the three brushes and they actually feel pretty nice. You get an angled brush that I like to use for like the outer corner, a smudge brush. I like to use brushes like this for my lower lash line and then a flat brush, which I use for a ton of different reasons, for like concealer, um, for my lid color, just a bunch of different reasons. And I actually really like that they gave us eyeshadow brushes because sometimes they just give us like face brushes and I'm like, 
I'm all set with these brushes. I always need more eyeshadow brushes because mine get dirty so quickly. And I feel like a lot of the products in here make sense for this month. The last product is um, Eye Gel Packs. This is from the brand South Main. So I just think they're just like regular eye patches. I haven't heard of this brand before. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. I think this is gonna be a really interesting eye tutorial I'm gonna be doing using like all of this eye makeup and like eye skincare. So um, these are just like, I'd rather get a full size skincare product or even like a deluxe size skincare product since these are one time use, but I actually always use um, face mask, lip mask, eye mask, anything that has a mask that you can just like take off without making a mess. I really like I'm definitely gonna use those, but it's probably the least exciting part of the box, other than the blush, just because it's a shade I wouldn't use, but this is a higher end brand, a full size blush, but that is a very intense shade, and you guys know I basically use translucent powder as like blush. I use the most natural blush in the world, um, but the eyeshadow palette I'm so excited for. I feel like this is definitely way more than the value of the box in itself, and they didn't give me anything in my box telling me the value of all the products. I always like to tell you guys the value of everything. So I don't know the price of the whole box, but I just looked up the eyeshadow palette from Pure on their Instagram, and it is actually available on the Pure website, which is really awesome because I wasn't sure um, originally if it was gonna be just for BoxyCharm but that also kind of didn't make sense to me since they did just do like an influencer trip about this palette so I thought it would be something more permanent um, but on their website it is $36 it's 12 sheets it has a mirror in it so this is something you could purchase on its own and it's not exclusive to BoxyCharm so I think that's really awesome I can't wait to use this in upcoming tutorials because it just looks like a really pretty palette. It's probably just the color scheme, my favorite palette that I have from Pure. So you can definitely check that out if you guys are interested. I'll link it below. And that's basically double the value of the box in itself. I right, guess so that is everything for my March BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm definitely the most excited for the Pure eyeshadow palette. Just seeing it all over Instagram in the past week or so. Been definitely excited to try it out and you guys will see a tutorial on my Instagram in probably the next week. And if you guys are interested in signing up for BoxyCharm, I do have an affiliate link with them. I'll leave that in my description box. And yeah, that is everything for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.